What's going on everybody? Here we are down at the river. I've got the TRD ticklers in hand and you know what? I'm a Ned Rig fanatic. Today we're actually going to be using the drag and shake technique. Now I've gone through a lot of the different retrieve techniques for a Ned Rig, but today I want to show you one of my favorites. Um, enough yipping and yapping. Let's start casting blasts and let's go. As you can see in here, it's going to be pretty loud out here today, but I'm throwing the TRD ticklers. Never thrown it before. This is the sprayed grass color. I think it's going to work quite well. I'm going to try to explain this retrieve as we get into an area that has a little bit less current because it's really loud right here. For now, let's focus on catching a fish. It's a little bit slower here. Water's a little dingier, but this is a great place to demonstrate what I do. Essentially, drag and shake is exactly how it sounds. Whether you're using the reel or you're using the rod, you're going to want to try to maintain bottom contact and keep that Ned Rig moving along the bottom. Now you can shake your rod tip and reel really slowly and that's basically going to have it bouncing across the bottom. And it's nice because you can kind of cover water but you're still working it really slow. It's definitely one of my favorite techniques when I'm just a little bit impatient and don't feel like, you know, dead sticking. It keeps it moving back but it does so in a very, very slow fashion. You can obviously pause it anytime you want. That's up to you. Oh, I just had one bump it. I wonder if that was like a rock bass or something. Normally a bass will actually get the net rig. Whatever hit it was smaller. I thought, oh my gosh, he jumped out of the water for it. What was that? He was so little. I don't know what that was. I wonder if that was like a little pike or something. I didn't get a good look at him. So as you can see, I'm just kind of twitching down and just reeling really slow. And that's how I prefer to work it. But again, you can drag and reel and drag and reel. I just like to keep that, that jig head bouncing. I just want to catch one or two fish today. I don't have any expectations of putting a hurting on them. Not with the, the river so high and kind of dingy, but at least a couple fish would make my day just nice. There's a fish. I knew I'd get one eventually. He's actually not doesn't feel like a bad fish. That's a good smallie. That's a good smallie. For a river, that's a real nice one. That's a real nice one. Now, how am I going to land this guy? Oh, gosh. Oh, he's barely hooked. Come on. Boom. Oh, he popped off as soon as I landed him. Look at that chunk. Football season, baby. Look at that football. My friends, he's got a messed up back because he's so fat. That's a beaut. You know... I just want to get this guy back. I'd love to sit here and talk to the camera about him, but he's just too beautiful. I got to release her. See you, buddy. Let's pause for a minute just to explain that fish real quick. I probably won't catch a ton of fish today, so I want to explain exactly what happened there. So I basically cast it up into shallow water and I paused it several times. The goal was to keep it down on the bottom and really maintain that bottom contact. I twitched slightly, I reeled a little bit, and then all of a sudden he popped it. That was a Brutus smallmouth, an absolute football, and I enjoyed every second of it. Let's get back to fishing, but like I said, it might be a pretty slow day, so ultimately my goal is for you to come out of this video with a new technique that you can use on the Ned Rig. Anyways, enough yipping yapping, let's start casting boss, let's go. I gotta be honest, I'm a huge fan of these TRD ticklers. You know, it's very, very similar to the Finesse TRD, but it's got that little bit of a tentacle style tail, and it just has a little bit different action. I'm not a huge drag and shake guy, around weed beds. You can obviously use it. You're gonna have to keep it a little higher in the water column and I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose. That's where I'm gonna use more of a swim glide and shake. So if you haven't seen that video yet, um, obviously that's in the playlist along with the other Ned Rig retrieves. That would be a rock. Oh, broke it. Definitely broke my entire leader. I clearly tie good knots because I've got one inch left of leader. So clearly my knot was not compromised, the line was. Chartreuse 1 15th ounce head with a green pumpkin TRD. I should be able to catch one here. There it is. That's a jumbo rock bass is what that is. Oh my gosh. He choked it too. My gosh. Thick rock bass. I love it. Just absolutely throttled it. It's crazy. Look at that guy. He's thick. I knew there was probably some rock bass in here. Get a little picture. Oh, no picture, no picture. Thought I was gonna get a little picture of him and then turn her loose is what I was trying to say. And flop. 
He made me bleed my own blood. Gosh dang it. Why do fish always do this to me? He poked me with his dorsal fin and now I've got blood on my hands. They're just like, yo man, you're gonna hook me in the face? I'm gonna poke you and make you bleed for the rest of the day. Whatever, I feel like that's fair. An eye for an eye. If you wanna see more of the retrieves for the net rig, click that playlist right there. You know what, today wasn't exactly the best day of fishing in the world, but hopefully at the bare minimum, you learned a few things about the drag and shake technique. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat lunch. Have a good day.